Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Rodrigo. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Rodrigo. Hey, hey what's going on? Good, Good evening. evening. Welcome. How are you? Are you ready for your TOEFL I'm class? Fine. Yes, and I'm ready. I want to learn a All lot. Right. Okay, that's very good. Uh, tell me, what do you know about the TOEFL? What information do you know about the TOEFL? To be honest, nothing. Only, only know that uh, there is a, a, a test that um, there is a, a this um, test have um, um, this test. Is a level of English this comes to nothing about, about TOEFL. So you don't have any information about the TOEFL? Any information. Okay. That's okay. We're going to help you. Uh, Adrián Guerra, ¿estás ahí? Hello, Adrián. Are you there? Hello. I'm here. How are you? Fine, fine. Thanks. I'm just joining to the meeting. Ah, okay. Excellent. Uh, can you tell me what information you know about the TOEFL? Um, uh, about the course on the in the English Corporation or or in general in general well um i know that uh, it's a, a certification exam mm -hmm. and um, it, it has validate for two years that's uh, right i guess yes and well it's it's a, a certified um, exam for for any any place in the world that is correct and um have you ever taken the TOEFL before or this will be your first time no no i hope uh, this this is my first time this okay. will be my first time this will be your first time yes. okay <clears throat> okay uh well let me share with you uh, some information about the TOEFL Basically, okay. the TOEFL is a, an exam that doesn't really assess your English, uh, but what it does is that it helps, it filters, basically. It filters people that want to study in another country, uh, people that want to uh, get a, go to the university in the United States, or people that want to do uh, things of that nature. So uh, in order for you to be in the TOEFL, you have to have an advanced level of English. So what I would like for us to do today is I would like to share with you is some material that is about the TOEFL. I am going to share my screen with you. Todos pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, TOEFL. yes, teacher. So this is the book that we're going to follow along. Obviously, we're going to be working on the platform and we're going to be complementing with the book. Cambridge Preparation for the TOEFL Test, fourth edition, helps you build the skills necessary to successfully answer the questions and complete the tasks on the TOEFL. IBT test. Uh, can somebody tell me what is the difference between TOEFL IBT and TOEFL PPT? 
Does anybody know the difference? Oh. TOEFL, IBT TOEFL IBT and TOEFL PPT. PPT. Does anybody know the difference? No. You don't know the difference? Okay, the TOEFL PPT is the paper-based and the TOEFL IBT is the one that is online. So you have one that is on paper and the other one that is online. Mm. It, that's right. Okay. It, it, it also thoroughly familiarizes you with the TOEFL test format and teaches test taking strategies to help you improve your scores. Now, this is a very important uh, point that I want you to understand that the TOEFL doesn't give you uh, explanations or trying to teach you vocabulary or grammar skills. It teaches you test taking strategies. So we're going to focus on that topic. We're going to take uh, focus on strategies and we will do practices. Do you understand? Yes, the chair. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I would like for us to look at important features on this program. An introduction that describes the section of the TOEFL test and how they are scored and offered tips for taking the TOEFL test successfully. This is uh, the first section, which is going to be the introduction section. So I would like for us to look at that section first. We're gonna look at the introduction. This is to the teacher. All right, here we go. Introduction to the TOEFL test, reasons for taking the TOEFL. So we're gonna look at uh, some of the main purposes that people have in general to take the TOEFL test. Uh, can everybody see? Todos pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. All right. Reasons for taking the TOEFL test. The test of English is, as a foreign language, is an examination that is administered by the Educational Testing Service, ETS and is used to evaluate a non-native English speaker proficiency in the English language. Many North American colleges and universities, as well as large number of institutions, agencies, and programs ask for official TOEFL test scores during the admission process. So I want you to pay attention to the word North American colleges and universities. Who can tell me what is the difference between a college and a university? Who can tell me what is the difference between a college and a university in the United States? What's the difference? Nobody? Teacher, can you repeat your question, please? Uh, yes. I can. My, my question is, what is the difference between a college and university? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody? Well, I guess the college is um, the years uh, after the school, uh, after high school, and is uh, they are so general that and is the, correct in the university you have to to learn about something special something speciality. specific the specific yes that's right uh thank you adran guerra that is correct uh, usually the college the north american colleges uh, exist uh, the objective of these colleges is to help young people to select a career. As you already know, uh, when people are in high school and they go from high school to the university in El Salvador, uh, sometimes the student is not happy with his or her career choice. 
so they change careers a year after they have been studying a specific career. So colleges or uh, American colleges, community colleges, private colleges, they give a two-year program where you see the basic information about psychology, the basic information about uh, sociology, basic information about biology, basic information about criminology, basic information about everything. Mm -hmm. After the second year, the student can make a decision and say, okay, now I want to be a lawyer. Now I want to be a doctor. Now I want to be an engineer, et cetera, et cetera. So the credits of the courses that they take in the college will transfer to the accreditations in the university uh, career if they apply. Not all, not all the credits transfer. Some credits are not valid. Only the ones that have to do with the specific career that the, that the student has uh, selected. All right, let's continue. Uh, so basically, uh, the purpose of the TOEFL is for admission process. What does that mean? That means that your scores in the TOEFL can help you to enroll in the university in the United States. If you don't have a specific knowledge or a specific level of English, you will not be able to go to the university in the United States. The TOEFL is like a filter to help uh, the universities. Teacher. Yes, Douglas. So that's necessary for just for full, full range people at United States. No, 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 no. Uh, technically, yeah, for the United States and also for people that live in another country. Oh. For example, imagine that you are applying for a scholarship program or you are applying to go to the university in California, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to go to UCLA. So in order for the university to allow you to study at that university, you have to pass the TOEFL test. Oh. Thank That's you. right. It's, it's a filter. If you don't oh, yeah. pass the TOEFL test, it doesn't matter if you're from El Salvador, China, Africa, Japan, anywhere in the world, you have to pass the TOEFL test. It, this is not only in Central America, El Salvador. This is everywhere in every country. Okay, thank you. So the TOEFL is an international accreditation. It's not only for the United States. It's international. Okay, let's continue. Requirements vary from institution to institution. You should check with the institutions or agencies you're applying to for their specific requirements. Uh, to be admitted to a North American college or university, you will probably need a TOEFL IBT. Score of 53 to 80 a TOEFL paper test score of 475 to 550. So uh, I imagine that all of you, uh, Vir, Gabriela, Douglas, Rodrigo, I imagine that you guys are going to do the IBT because the IBT is the most popular nowadays. And it is the one that has the long lasting certification. The paper-based it's not too common. People are like omitting the paper base nowadays because everything is online. Uh, usually, okay, TOEFL computer test scores of 153 to 213. Uh, this is in order for you to pass. Although some colleges will accept students with a score under 45, a paper test score of 450. These are very, very low scores. Uh, you don't want that. I know that El Ministerio de Educación uh, accepts 450 here in El Salvador for a teacher. Or computer test score of 133. <laughs> Usually those students are required to enroll in remedial classes. Does anybody know what is the meaning of remedial classes? 
Refuerzo. Very good. That is correct. Refuerzos. Remedial classes are refuerzos. So I imagine that uh, you guys decided to take this course because we need remedial classes. So uh, I'm going to be helping you with that issue. Uh, today, we are only going to discuss this section, the, which is the introduction section. Uh, tomorrow, I would like for us to do a diagnostic. Enroll in remedial classes or in ESL classes as part of their course of study. Other colleges and universities will require a higher score of 100 plus or 600 plus on the paper test or 250 plus on the computer test. This score is frequently required for students who wish to work at the graduate level. Uh, the graduate level means that you're going to be, that you're going to be a a doctor, we'll say, at the end of your career, not at the mm -hmm. beginning. Let's say, for example, the fourth year or the fifth year of the university. However, I know that here in El Salvador exists um, universities, for example, ESEN, eh, Pedagogica, that they allow you to take the TOEFL in order for you to skip all of the English courses and therefore you don't have to spend so much money a few colleges and huh? questions at this moment comments all right a few colleges and universities do not require non-native english speaking students to take the toefl test they may however have their own english proficiency exam that students are required to take for example, some universities only have TOEIC, uh, others have TASP. So it depends on the university because these exams test the same skill as the TOEFL test. Preparing yourself for the TOEFL test is a good way to prepare for any English proficiency exam. So basically uh, for the TOEFL test, you need to have an advanced level of knowledge. Until the TOEFL IBT test has become available worldwide, whether you take the internet-based, computer-based, or paper-based, I imagine all of you will take the internet-based because it's the most common nowadays, will demand on where you live in El Salvador. The most common one is IBT, internet-based, or the circumstances under which you are taking the test. You should find out which test you will be taking so that you can become familiar with the particular test format and requirements. In this class, I'm going to help you prepare for the IBT. Taking the TOEFL IBT test. Uh, let me have one volunteer, please, that can help me read this section. I want to draw. Okay, Douglas. The TOEFL IBT test will be administered or on fixed data in a network of secure internet based test centers. Most areas where the test is offered will have 30 to 40 administrator administration sorry, per year. But the number will vary based on the number of test takers and this and test center capacity capacity, capacity. Uh, me personally i have seen up to 50 people uh, taking the test at the same time because uh, el salvador is one of the few countries in central america that has the license to proctor you know that there are people that come from honduras people that come from Nicaragua to El Salvador to take the TOEFL because they don't have licensed centers in those countries, only in El Salvador. Okay, let's look at how uh, they're going to be evaluating you. Where it says passage numbers is referring to the paragraphs. Okay, reading section, number of passages, three to four, number of tasks or questions per passage, one, uh, 12 through 14. 
and you will have 60 to 80 minutes to do that. Uh, one thing that I need you guys to be clear and to understand is that everything in the TOEFL is time-based. What does that mean? That means that everything, reading, writing, speaking, listening, all the activities that you will have on the TOEFL test are controlled by time. <laughs> Excuse okay. me. Okay, so when it says 20 minutes, 50 minutes, that means that you got to do it in that time. And you cannot repeat. There is no such thing as repeating. Let's look at the scoring information. Let me have a volunteer for the scoring information. Uh, Rodrigo Ardon. Okay. Read for me scoring information, please. Scoring is information. Each section of the TOEFL IBT test is scored separately. The number of points received for received. each. Received. The pronunciation is received. Received for each section is converted to converted. a scale. Converted to a scale score of zero of 30. Zero to 30. 30. For a convenient total possible score. Co combined. Combined total possible score of 120. That's right. As shown, shown below. That's right. So basically, you're going to be scored, the sections that are going to be scored are reading, listening, speaking, and writing. So something that's very important, guys, that I need you to understand is that one hour is not sufficient to prepare you. Okay? So what does that mean? That means that you're going to have to put in more time. Only one hour is not going to be enough. In this okay. class, I'm going to help you. I'm going to guide you. We're going to do speaking activities, listening activities. We're going to do a diagnostic test. But I need you guys to focus and to do extra practice in your personal time. Okay. 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 All right. We're going to skip all of this because it's uh, basically technical uh, stuff about reading and listening sections. This is the format that the institution of TOEFL it scores the exams. Something that I want you to understand, guys, is that the TOEFL test is changed every three months. Every three months, they have a group of people in the United States, and their job at the TOEFL institution, this is their job, this is what they have to do, is they have to change the questions. Do you understand? They have to change mm -hmm. the questions. Uh, they have to change uh, the formats. They have to change the exercises. O sea, that is their only job is to change the test as, as much as possible. Okay. So if you take the test, let's say that you take the test in January and you didn't pass and you have to repeat the test in January, February, March, and it, because you have to wait three months. And then you go to April and you take the test in April. Then in that case, you're gonna take a different test. You're not going to take the same test. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got it. Okay. Teacher, always in the same test. No, 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 no. And, Every hey Freddy, what's going on, Freddy? No lo había reconocido. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Gusto de verte. Uh, thank you, teacher. I'm fine. I'm so glad to see you again. Excellent. Here we are, working hard. One more time. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, the TOEFL test changes. Uh, these people, this group of people, is called the board of TOEFL, la directiva del TOEFL. Uh, they are 12 members, and their job in the world is to change the TOEFL test every three months. 
O sea, that is their only job, is mm. to invent or okay. to investigate or to make new exams. The purpose of that is that the exams are not repeated and the exams are not filtered. Okay? So it's always okay. going to be a different exam. That's okay. the reason why we have to study strategies. Right now, I would like for us to look at this section. This is an important section. Preparation, how to take the TOEFL IBT test successfully. Can somebody read for me the first section, please? Number one, somebody, if, <clears throat> volunteer? If, yep. Okay, Rodrigo, if, volunteer. If you do not have a sound basic knowledge of English, is it, is it best to take English language courses before taking a TOEFL test preparation course? Okay, Pre now this is only if you feel that your English level is not advanced. Right, because sometimes people, they want to take the TOEFL test, but their level of English is not advanced. And they think that if they take a TOEFL class, they are going to, they are going to pass the test. However, I need you to understand that that's not the case. Okay, and the TOEFL is not going to teach you English. The TOEFL is going to um, is going to test your ability to use the English language. So it's not the same. It's not the same for you to say I speak English or I want to take the TOEFL. It's not the same thing because speaking English and taking the TOEFL are two different things. You can you can speak English. But the TOEFL is not going to evaluate your English level. The TOEFL is going to uh, evaluate or assess how you use English. Can you use English to identify specific information in a reading text? Can you use English to interpret context? Can you use English to identify something in a listening? Can you use English to express a specific idea? Okay, so TOEFL is not going to say, okay, you have advanced level. No, TOEFL is going to assess how you can use English. That's the purpose. Okay, okay? so basically okay. Th th that is what this is talking about. Uh, somebody read number two, please. Me. Somebody, okay, go ahead, mm -hmm. me. Begin your test preparation as soon as you decide to take the exam. It will not be useful to try to learn everything the week before the exam date. In this case, it says it will not be useful to try to learn everything the week before the exam date. It, this means that you need as much time as possible to prepare, okay? Don't think that the TOEFL is like, okay, I want to take the TOEFL and that's it. It's not going to happen like that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Mr. Santos. Uh, my name is Ruben Santos. People call me Mr. Santos. I have been teaching English for 15 years in Central America. Uh, I have taken the TOEFL test many times. I have prepared a lot of people for the TOEFL test. This is not my first time teaching TOEFL. So I know exactly what you are going to do. I know exactly what you are going to go through. So let me just wake up your eyes right now at this moment. TOEFL is not an easy test. And somebody that studied English in the United States, I studied English in the United States all my life, since I was a little boy all the way until I became an adult. I graduated university from Southwest Texas Junior College. So all my academic, all my education since I was a little boy 
is from Houston, Texas. I took the TOEFL the first time and I thought, oh, that's going to be easy. TOEFL, piece of cake, easy money. I got this. It's nothing. <laughs> Big mistake. Big mistake. I thought because I could speak English, I could read English, I could write English. I thought that I was going to do really, really good. Big mistake. That is not correct. I don't care if you're a native speaker. Uh, you still have to prepare for the TOEFL test because it is not an easy exam. All right. So if I am telling you this is because it's the truth. All right. I was arrogant. I was prideful. I said, nah, I don't have to prepare for the TOEFL. Eh, big mistake. Yes, I had to repeat the test in order for me to prepare for the test. And I passed the test. Okay, so don't think that is only uh, something that you're gonna decide. Oh, I want to do it. No, you have to prepare. Uh, somebody, please read number three for me. Study on a regu regular regular basis. Okay. Studying Good. studying a small amount of material daily is more effective than studying a large amount in one sitting very good what does that mean that means that you have to do a lot of repetition guys a lot of repetition this is not something that's going to happen from one day to the next the more you repeat the more you practice the more you read the better it's going to be uh, go ahead uh, can, who was reading me okay douglas already read <laughs> uh, go ahead read for me evelyn okay uh, work carefully through the book. Yes. Uh, or no, 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 no. A four, large four, amount four. of number four. four. Number four. Number four. I'm sorry. All English practice is helpful. Watching a movie or listening to a radio program in English is good for building your listening comprehension skill. Building. Reading. Building. 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 No. Your... Building. La U no se pronuncia. Normally, whenever you see <laughs> uh, two vowels together, when mm -hmm. you see two vowels together, normally one vowel is not pronounced. Uh, Mr. Santos, how do I know which vowel will be pronounced? Normally, it is the second vowel that is pronounced. In this case, the letter I. Building. Okay. Building your listening comprehension skill. Reading English newspaper or magazine articles will improve your reading comprehension skills. Speaking English, even with a non-native speaker, will help you improve your speaking fluency. Systematically add new words to your vocabulary. Even though the these activities are not directly related to the TOEFL test, they will have help you. Okay, so basically what this is saying is do everything in your power to emerge yourself in the English language. What does that mean? That means that every little moment, every little free time that you have, read something in English, listen to something in English, watch movies in English, whatever you do, music in English, magazines in English, try to consume yourself with nothing but English material. And that's going to help you to prepare. Uh, honestly, for me, personally, the most difficult part that I can remember about the TOEFL was the listening. And let me explain to you why the listening was so difficult for me. The listening was difficult because you were listening to people with different accents. You would yeah. listen to people with Arabic accent. Speaking English with a Chinese accent, speaking English with an Irish accent, speaking English with a <laughs> British accent, speaking English with a Japanese accent. So that's why it's so difficult because you're listening to people like speak like this. 
Uh, thank you for calling Sykes. This is Ruben Santos. How can I help you today? <laughs> right. They would speak with like an Arabic accent or you would have uh, African, Mexican accents. So that's why the listening for me, in my personal opinion, was the most difficult. And it is why I practice listening so much. All right, let me have another volunteer read for me number five, section number five. Julia, I. All right, Julia, number five, Julia. Okay, work carefully through the book exercise in Cambridge preparation for the TOEFL test in the skill areas that the diagnosis. I don't know how do you say it. Uh, that is diagnosis di test. Diagnostic test. Diagnostic test identifies as your weak areas. Once you have mastered the skills in your weak areas, you may want to choose other. That's right. Exercise to improve, others exercise to improve your strong skill even further. Further. However, it is best to concentrate the most effort on your weaker area. Weaker area. So basically, uh, tomorrow, we are going to start with the diagnostic test. The diagnostic test is going to help me, it's going to help Mr. Santos understand what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. So we're going to work on the weaknesses. Uh, somebody else, continue, please. Continue. Uh, practice. Budgeting. Number, okay, Rodrigo, number six. Practice budgeting your time. The TOEFL test is taking on their strict time limits. Effective time management is a key to doing well on the test. Learn to use your time wisely so that you can complete each. All right, so you can complete each section. So a uh, budgeting time, budgeting time. This is very important guys because in the TOEFL test, time is essential. Everything, everything on the TOEFL test is controlled by time. Each exercise, you will have 30 seconds to complete. Uh, you will have some exercises, you will have 20 seconds to complete. So it's a very uh, time controlled activity. If they say to you, you have one hour to complete this section, that is exactly how much time you will have. Uh, a lot of times uh, in the, on the computer, when you're taking the internet based, you're going to have a little, a little timer, a little clock over here in the right hand corner of the screen, you're gonna have a little clock. So that clock can be a two-edged sword. It can be something to help you and to remember you, hey, move fast, or it can stress you out. So this is something that you have to prepare, uh, prepare for that topic, okay? Uh, the next section says use the CD-ROM mm -hmm. test. For the issue. Yes, Mario? Can, can you read? Yes, okay. Okay, go ahead, Mario. Uh, use, use the CD-ROM test or the information at the beginning of the reading, listening, speaking, and writing section of this book to become familiar with the test format and, and how to answer the kinds of questions and respond the kinds of tasks in each section. Excellent. Uh, unfortunately, you guys do not have the CD-ROM, so that's okay. Uh, this book that I have here, this is the book that we are going to be using. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot give you this book because this is the book that the institution uses. So uh, what you can do is you can take a picture or a screenshot of the, the sections that we're going to cover. Somebody read section eight, please. Okay. Go ahead. Now your goal, visit the website or 
write to the administration office of the college or university of your choice and ask for their entrance requirements. They will confirm the minimum TOEFL score required for admission. Excellent. Uh, right now, at this moment, I would like for you to discuss this question. The question is, why are you taking the TOEFL test? I'm going to give you five minutes. Why are you taking the TOEFL test? I'm going to send the question to the group. All right, I got it already here. So we're going to work in pairs. I'm going to give you five minutes and I want you to tell your partners why you are taking the TOEFL test. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. You have to click on the section that says Entrar a Sesión Pequeña or Enter Small Group. It should be in the center of your screen. Freddy, let's go. Nidia, let's go. Douglas, let's go. Freddy? What are you? Why are you taking the TOEFL test? Okay, what, what, why are you taking the TOEFL test? Okay, mm -hmm. Let's tell me. Okay, um, my main purpose is to apply to, um, to travel to Canada maybe in the future. And, and it's um, a request that you present the or a test. I am not sure that is the TOEIC or the TOEFL, but <laughs> I think it's the TOEFL. <laughs> okay, it's a, a good step. And you? Why are okay. you taking the TOEFL test? I'm taking the TOEFL because I want to to study in other country because I, I want because I want to take a, a master degree in in other country and and to okay. I, and, and to and to I I want to to work in other country which country. Uh, United States. Okay. Okay, that, that's it. It's, okay. it's the, this is the reason. Okay, teacher. Are you there, teacher? It's in mute. Yeah. Um, do you do, do you have information about how to to live in in Canada or how to travel to Canada and, and live in this country? Mm. No, my boyfriend has. <laughs> okay. Uh, because he is applying. He, he's applying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But you need money. <laughs> and um, if so, if, if, uh, is uh, fifteen thousand dollars per. Uh, per per person, I think. Hello, hello. Is everybody finished? 